Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you more example of restriction plasmid designing and how, given the and restriction endonucleus enzyme, how can you specifically measure the base pairs that that a specific enzyme would cut? Okay, so the first question is asking you that there was an enzyme known as E cor R I R one that yielded eight different fragments. How many E cor R sites are there in that specifically DNA that essentially produced that eight fragments? So how are you going to say so it's asking you that once you expose that plasmid like imagine this is a plasmid once you expose to that specific one enzyme it produced a different eight fragments okay so it means what it means so and imagine this is like a linearized plasmid right so eight different fragments okay let's cut let's see one Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need one more. Eight. Okay. So we have what? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight different fragments produced by a single enzyme. Now, how many sites are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven sites. Okay. Seven sites. So. We need how many how many ECR sites are there? We need seven different ECR sites, and um, um, these are all specifically eco like R, I, one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. To seven. Okay. So the first question answer is seven. Now. The next question is asking you. Okay, you have this plasmid. You expose it to different restriction enzyme. Based upon this plasmid, measure the um, um, fragment size. Okay, so what you initially want to do is measure where the zero site is. So this here is zero. Okay, and so E. coli digestion one. So how many sites are there? One site. If it's only one site, you linearize the plasmid. So the whole size of the plasmid would be counted, which means we have. 2.5k 2.5k vector along with what 1200 clones so that gives you what 3700 isn't it so it is 2500 plus gives you what so the first one is isn't it okay why because we have vector waiting that and we have this clone that is inserted in this gray, if you can see here, it's gray, right? This is a inset, okay? This is a gene of interest that was inserted in. It weighted 1200. So this plus that give you 3700, which is the whole E. coli eye digestion. Now, next one is what? Bamish I. So how many sites are there? We have two sites. How many fragments can be produced? Well, can we, let's see. So we have one and we have two okay or we have one and two notice whenever you passing by zero okay so this time we have we are passing through zero then there is another site there then what you do and this is a 2700 okay so 2700 must be subtracted by whole size of dna okay which is 3700 so that'll give us 1200 okay so we have a f initial site as 1200 base pairs and the next one we have um, um we have 1200. that's right it's initially like that oh no it's not right sorry this is that 1000 base pairs sorry this is not this, this is meant to be 2700 okay so 1000 base pairs and um, the other one you do from there, you don't pass a zero, so that's just um, 2700, right? Base pairs, okay? Because you're not passing it from, so it's one, two. But here you pass from zero, so you have to subtract it by whole fragments, a whole plasmid size. Next part is telling you about hind digestion. Hind, we have a one, and um, we have two. 
So again, we, we do minus something, minus that we should give you 1200 again. We have another 1200 base pairs. Then again, from here to there, which is again 1200 by, because we're passing through zero, so you have to subtract it by whole fragment size. So it gives you um, 1200, I'm um, sorry, so it's six, it's 1200, 3500 okay so did you get the reasoning so 2500 because we're doing like that and you're passing zero so you subtract the 600 you just subtract the 1200 by a whole fragment size whole i mean vector size including insert which is 3700 so Next one is asking you double digest. So it means you're including two enzymes. It is easy. So well, we do. We have E. car on BAM each side. So we can have one. can have two. We have three, don't we? Okay, we didn't get three great. So let's, let's face it. So initially, has to be what? Let me say D here. Uh, One thousand base pairs for the first fragment. For the second fragment, it will be what? Um, base pairs. Okay. For the third fragment, which is this one, we passing through zero, so it will be what? It's similar to the first one, which will give us one thousand base pairs. Okay, did you guys get it? So last one, you're passing through zero, so you have to subtract the whole inset by whole plasmid, including the inset by the specifically size of this fragment, which gives you 1,000. So let's quickly finish the last two, hint three and by my side. But does that give us, um, let's see, so we have this here, and this gives you and three by my side. So we have let me put it in the pen here. So we have we have one green and we have two and we have three and we have four, don't we? So it is six hundred initially. And for this size, we have 1200 because 1800 minus 600. For the next one, we have from here to here is 2700 minus 1800, which is 900 base pairs, right? So lastly, we're passing through zero again, which would give us 1000 base pairs, okay? It's easy, isn't it? And lastly, let's quickly go through F with the red pen now. Um, this is a red pen, um, hint 3 equal RI site, hint 3 equal RI site. So, one and two and three, okay? So, uh, let's count the three first. Um, so, whatever, let's, let's, let's go from here. So, that's, that's 400 base pairs. And um, next we have this size, which is 800 base pairs. Uh, let's quickly finish that. Last is from 1800 to 600, which is so 2500 base pairs. Okay, so you subtract this by that, but since you're passing through zero, you have to subtract by a whole plasmid, including inset, which is 3700. So it gives you 2500 base pairs. Okay, so that's tick, that's tick. Let's lastly finish it. Let's finish the last question. It's asking you, so you want to pick colonies so you can further a screen, right? That has your gene of interest. To find a colony with the plasma you want, you need to pick six colonies to test the restoring digest analysis of plasma mini preps. So you want to do this because you want to distinguish between this plasmid and other plasmid inside a bacteria, okay? So because you put this to be 
clone, replicate inside a bacterial genome, right? So, but you want to ensure that the right plasmid you, you obtain. So, is this one. So, which enzymes would you choose to distinguish this enzyme from other potential enzyme, this plasmid from other potential plasmid inside a bacteria? So, I would consider um, some enzymes that has a site in the inset, this gray area. So, which enzyme has a site inside the inset? Can you tell me? I hope you're saying equal R1 site because it's a gray side, there's a one side there. So, I'm going to do, I'm going to suggest BAMHI and eco R1 site. So, you may be wondering why you don't go with HIN3. So, because HIN3 is like a really edge of this plasma. But BAMH site here is in the middle, so it can give you better double digest. So, I'm going to say double digest of these two enzymes because, because, imagine if this is a TA cloning, okay, if it's a cloning um, that, that um, um, inset can 50% or 50% chance inset to this plasmid in a reverse direction, it can go from this direction, it can go from this direction, so you want to pick an enzyme that would account for that, so that's why it accounts, it accounts, for directionality of the insert, right? So if, well, for example, the wrong side of insert has been inserted, reverse direction, you can already be, uh, say, okay, this side has the this side has changed, equal R I side has changed. It means my gene of interest has um, inserted in a reverse direction. Okay, so. I hope it made sense, guys. Please ask me a question in the comment section. I have did a ton of other examples like restriction mapping in my channel. Please find them if you need more help. Thank you.